on October 1st. It was the third day of this country music festival. I was there with my good friend, Kyle Zinovich. Just enjoying the concert. Chaos all around us. We both jumped on top of my wife to make sure we weren't gonna get hit. We immediately went and started helping people. And I told my wife that she had to leave and I was gonna stay back. I just needed to help. And now thinking back that night that I, I left her in this crucial moment, um, it, it wears on me. It affected me, there's no doubt. In the weeks after the event, I hated myself. I felt guilty that 58 people died that day. I thought I should have done more. I wasn't ready to feel better. The idea of feeling better was really scary and terrifying for me. It took me a while uh, to realize that I needed help. We still have that mentality that we're fine and that we can carry these things, but it's a culture change and it, we just have to be there to let them know. It's perfectly normal to have these feelings and, and to be able to ask for a timeout or where you can go to get help. I feel like I'm okay now. Um, I still go to therapy. And Once you hear the words and you feel it coming out, you get it out and you feel better. I think our coworkers actually became a little bit closer as a family because we were there to help each other out in, the, in that difficult time. I am very proud of where we're at today. Um, and that is through a lot of hard work that both my wife and I had to put in um, to make sure that we could still be the husband and wife and mother and father to our to each other and to our children uh, that we deserve. Um, we didn't get here, we didn't get on that path by ourselves. I'd like to think that we're much stronger now than we were, you know, five years ago. Uh -huh.